The grass emperor or grassy, sometimes called red throat, are a very widespread species. They occur throughout Queensland, right through the Gulf across Northern Territory and down into Western Australia. They're also a very large species. They are for the Lathrinus, the emperors, they grow quite, quite large, particularly offshore. They're also quite adept at uh, changing colours. Now this is the typical colour that you see underwater, but they can change their colour quite readily. You can see this guy is starting to uh, change. He's starting to get a variegated mottly appearance. So if you watch, you can see it forms these uh, stripes and variegations. across his body. Sometimes that persists even when they're above the water. Like the red throat emperor, they do have a uh, quite distinctive eye appearance. Around their eye, they've got distinctive blue lines. They also occur in groups. So you can see here that there's a group of well, three or four. And this is uh, reasonably common. They often found together in groups. They prefer a whole range of different habitats. So you find them in uh, rocky reef and coral, out on the shoals, and various other places, but not all that common out on the true reef offshore. They have smaller mouths than the red throat emperor, the true red throat. That means that with large baits, they will often tear pieces off. Even the very large fish don't have as big a mouth as a red throat emperor. See this guy changing colour to that variegated colour that they get. You can see those blue lines underneath his eye. Like the red throat, they seem to be attracted by other smaller species feeding. So you can see this guy. Uh, there's a, a hussar feeding there that attracts these other fish in. But they're far more reticent to feed and uh, a lot more wary than, than the red throat emperor. Grassies are found in a range of habitats. So Lots of them, uh, particularly small fish, are found in the mouths of estuaries and in harbours and so on. So uh, here we've got a fish. You can, if you look in the background, there's sort of a weedy bottom, a grassy bottom. That's why they're called grassy sweet lip, I suppose. But this is uh, almost estuarine. You can see the water's fairly uh, dirty. And this is where particularly you'll find large numbers of small fish at times. Now, 
like a number of species, they uh, change in appearance as they get larger. Now, here's a large fish. You'll see that his forehead is a lot more uh, pronounced. So he has a, a definite hump to his head, almost uh, perhaps like a snapper. Quite a distinctive appearance, the very large ones. Very strong fighters on a line. And the smaller ones are quite good eating. Thanks for watching.